will be your storyteller for today. Now, with this picture here, can you guess what story I will be telling to you? Ah, uh, think about it. Do I hear the lion and the mouse? You are correct. Yes, today I will be reading to you the story about a lion and the mouse. Okay, so one day in the forest, the lion was sleeping. The lion is the king of the jungle. Can you make the sound of the lion. Can I hear it? Yes. Rawr! Well done! All right. So now back to our story. The lion was sleeping. Very good. Then a tiny mouse decided to play around the lion. It was not aware that the lion was a strong and powerful creature. Mm -hmm. The mouse ran up and down the lion's fluffy mane. He was having the time of his life. And then, all of a sudden, the lion woke up from his sleep. He was so angry, he grabbed the tiny mouse with his large paws and said, How dare you, little mouse! How dare you disturb me in my sleep? I will eat you. The little mouse was so scared of the lion. He was shaking when he said, My king, please, I beg you to let me go. My little body will not be enough for your big stomach. Please let me live. I might be of help to you in the future. The lion laughed so hard. <laughs> you? Help me? What are you talking about, you little mouse? Okay, you can help me? I doubt it. But okay, I will let you go now. Go! Run away! Run far! Run for your life, little mouse. Thank you, my king. And the mouse ran away so fast. Then one day, while the lion is walking in the forest, he fell into a trap set by hunters. Rawr! What should I do? The hunters will kill me once they see me. The lion roared and roared for help. And from afar, the mouse heard the lion roars. He immediately went to find out what happened to the lion. And what do you think he saw? Yes. He saw the lion inside the trap. So the mouse decided to help the lion. He nibbled the net and freed the lion at last. The lion was so happy. He thanked the mouse for saving his life. 
then they became best friends for life. What have you learned from the story? Think of it for a minute and share it with your friends. Well done. All right. So the story teaches us that even the smallest can be of help to us. And even the biggest or the most powerful of creatures can need help from others. So we should help each other, especially those who are in need. I hope you enjoyed our story for today. Keep making good decisions and I will see you in our next story. Goodbye!